with a bunch of surprises. Or not. Or not? What's that supposed to mean? Well, we haven't seen the show, the show yet, so I just kind of want to be safe about it. Okay, but get a load of this. Today is National First Responders Day. What's that supposed to mean? Ironically enough, it's a day celebrating the first to act or act quickly when there's emergency at hand. Near Halloween. That is scary. Agreed. Well, aside from that, this week, like I said, might be full of surprises. Or not. So enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Ava and this is Miss White. Where are you from? Like originally? Yeah. I was born in Montana, but I've lived in lots of different states and I moved here from Montana. Nice. Um, how are you liking Lincoln so far? I love it. Lincoln's fun. I like the kids. I like teaching math um, and I like coaching volleyball. Uh, where did you go to middle school and what was it like? I went to middle school in a little town called Incline Village, Nevada, and that's um, near Lake Tahoe. And it was very small. I only had 30 kids in my whole grade level. Um, but the building looked a lot like Lincoln, so it's kind of reminiscent for me to be here. How would you describe yourself in three words? Hmm. Um, goofy energetic and excited. <laughs> what made you want to go from teaching elementary school to teaching middle school? Um, so I've always actually wanted to teach middle school but when I moved here from Montana my licensure was different so I was only certified to teach through sixth grade so I just got a job teaching elementary school um, so then I was just waiting until I could get licensed to teach middle school again and once I got my master's degree I could do that so now here I am. <laughs> and what's your favorite thing about working at Lincoln? Uh, my favorite thing at Lincoln is the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Hola, soy Dora. No, your name is Maya and I'm Kiva. Oh yeah, anyway, we have some spooky stuff to tell you. Yeah, make sure to wear your costumes on Monday because we are having a costume contest for every grade at lunch. Yep, make sure to wear school appropriate costumes. No masks, blood, no gore, and anything else, Kiva? Nope. Well, see you later, Lancers. Adios, amigos. What's up, Lancers? It's me, Mason, your incessant sports reporter. Last Friday, we, we had a staff for student soccer game, and lo and behold, staff won. Let's hear how this affected some of our soccer players. I had a blast. I obviously knew that we were going to win, the staff members, although I don't know if I should feel super proud of us or, or kind of like a bad coach because they couldn't even beat a bunch of old people. <laughs> Epic staff showed up. We totally kicked some butt. There was a lot of trash talk from the boys, but they, uh, they didn't show up. There was, yeah. I'm glad Mac collected tissues for him. You can't count the days. You have to make the days count. You know, teachers came to play, and I don't think those guys were ready for it. And I am so pumped to take on the girls' soccer team in the spring. Well, there you have it. It was a very interesting game. 
Frankly, the only reason I watch soccer is because it's very relatable to my life. Little to no goals. Hey Lancers, it's me Isla and I'm here with Linus and we have more information about the pool this time. Is there or is there not a pool underneath the school? There is a pool underneath the school. The access is actually over by the science wing. And do you have any hardcore evidence to prove it? Yes I do. The t-shirts that the swim coaches wear, like Mr. Barron's our head swim coach, have my picture on it because I am the swim team mascot. Okay. Since our last broadcast, we've noticed that this has appeared. Josh, what do you think about this? Well, obviously, it means that there's a pool here. So I was right all along and you guys were wrong. That's true. I agree. I have a counterpoint. What if the teachers just put it there to mess with us? What if they didn't? What's your evidence? Hey Lancers, we're here with Miss Casey and Miss Johnson. So, is there or is there not a pool? Um, we're standing in front of the access door, like, so I would literally know. Literally, the door is right there. And do you have any other evidence to confirm? I mean, I'm the cabana girl for the pool. I make sure that our coaching staff is well snacked. And Miss Casey technician. is our towel technician to make sure that our towels are clean and fluffy and, and really good at drying off people. Um, Barron's is our head coach. Miss Newman is our assistant coach. As you know, Mr. Allen is our mascot because he's really busy with his other swim coaching job. Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of evidence that there's a swim team at Lincoln. Okay. I can also. Ms. Newman, do you think there is a pool underneath the school? I don't think, I know. Uh, okay. Do you have any hardcore evidence to back that up? Yeah, so I am the assistant to the head swim coach um, for Lincoln swim team. Um, Mr. Barron's is the head coach, and so I am his assistant, and we are actually traveling. Well, we're not traveling because it's, you know, just downstairs. Um, we're going to be filming at the Lincoln swim pool this week, so you guys are going to get just total access to seeing what it looks like, and it's really exciting. And also, would I lie to you? I, I would think not, hopefully. I would think not too, right? I don't lie. Do you know if any past students would know about the pool? Yeah, so you guys know that I used to work at Poudre High School, which is just down the street, so I had all of the Lincoln students. Um, and a lot of them joined the swim team at Poudre High School because of their experience with Lincoln swim team. I actually am one of my best friends is the swim head swim coach at Poudre and she has lots of Lincoln kids that come through and they're all really good swimmers. Hey Lancers, we contacted a student from the past and they said there was no pool and there are no pictures of the pool in any year. Oh, shoot. Forgot I was going to give the tour today. Give me just a minute to change. All right, Lancers, you asked for a tour of the pool. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Stairs down to the pool. It is quite a ways down here, and it is quite old. Pretty sweet colors though. All right, welcome to Lincoln's Pool. We're just uh, going down the hall here to head into the pool area. Obviously, always the pool rules, especially the no smoking. You can tell this is from 1974 right here. No smoking, inflatable beach balls only. Obviously, I always shower before entering the pool. Here's Mr. Colin. He's helping me out today. I needed somebody to hold the other side when I'm showing you some stuff. Hey, Lancers. Obviously, Lancer colors down here. A little bit of green. You're on. All right. Well, Lancers, uh, like I said, uh, here's a little tour of the pool area. Um, there are still some, as you can see, this is why it was shut down during COVID. There, we don't have any fresh air coming in here. But also, um, just general, you know, length of the pool is standard. As you can see, right over here, still no, uh, no diving, no running, no horseplay. 
Always take that shower, because don't be gross. Um, and see right here, children must be supervised by the adults. So we can't just let anybody come down here and run around. I'm not really sure what else to do here. Uh, the power, of course, always a little sketchy down here. So right now we only got one light going, so we can't really bring anybody down here safely until we figure out some of the power issues. All right, classic look here, right here. Uh, lifeguard stand, you know, making sure all the swimmers in the pool are safe. This is about the safest it can Good be. Morning. Take a big general shot of it. Lark and I are going to be telling some Halloween jokes. Lark, are you ready? Lark! 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 Boo! <laughs> Hello, answers. It's me. Uh, oh, I love Lark. There we go. Anyways, what's in a ghost's nose? I don't know. What? A booger. Ah! That's kind of weird anyway. What's a ghost's favorite play? What? Romeo and Goldie. That wasn't bad. Anyways, bye Lancers. That was fun. Yeah, I liked it. But how about we do something a little bit less Halloween-y, like jokes. Do you have one in mind? Why wouldn't I? What do you call when two witches are sharing an apartment? Broommates. Okay, that's one, but I got a better one. Knock knock. Oh, we're doing knock knock jokes then. Okay, who's there? <laughs> Philip. Philip who? Fill up my bag of candy. Okay, I'll admit it. That one was better than mine. Well, Lancers, enjoy the hell enjoy your Halloween on Monday. But but don't miss school and remember to lead, lead the Lancer way. way.